Hello and welcome back. FreeQMS is proud to announce our new Complaints module, one of the most hotly requested modules by current customers. Before we begin, we want to immediately answer the most common question we receive on the Complaints module. Is it just for complaints? No. As we'll show you in the short introduction video, the Complaints module has the ability to label each complaint as a feedback, a complaint, or a reportable complaint. The Complaints module, like customers and suppliers, is a low-cost subscription module. It can be enabled by your company administrator clicking on the Modules and Billing button, and then clicking the slider for Complaints. Once the Complaints module is enabled, you will need to grant permission to your Complaints team. Click the Users button. Each user's permissions can be changed by clicking the Edit button in line. The Complaints module now has its own permissions line item. Set it appropriately based on what access you want users to have. Let's get to the good stuff. We can click the Complaints module from the left-hand menu or as an icon from the home screen. We'll do so now. The Complaints module is drawn out to a combination of ISO 9001, FDA 820, and ISO 13485 and is meant to help customers field and act on complaints in any regulated manufacturing environment. The home screen should be familiar to all current FreeQMS users. In the top left, we have Create Complaint and the Export Data button. The Export button is key for users that assemble reports outside of FreeQMS, or import FreeQMS data to other systems. Similarly, the columns of the Home Display table should be no surprise. We have a complaint title, a complaint type, which can be feedback, complaint, or reportable complaint, the status, which can be open or closed, the division, where the record is stored. This is mainly important for enterprise clients with multiple locations or business units, the create date, due date, and close date. For this short intro video, we'll review a sample complaint created in our instance of FreeQMS. Remember, all functionality shown is already available. There's no build out or customization necessary. Let's click our example complaint and take a brief look at functionality. At the top of the information tab is all the typical date and coordinator information you would expect from FreeQMS, with one extra. Aware date. This is the date the company is aware of the complaint. Next, we have Scope. These are fields specific to complaints that allow users to track the complaint problem, risk, and more. Note users must justify why they should or shouldn't investigate a given issue. Next, we have the Source. Like other FreeQMS records, a source can be a record from another module or a write-in. Finally, we have Complaint Items. This is where manufacturers can track parts involved in a complaint. A diverse field selection is offered to track different part unique identifiers. Let's jump up to complaint activities to see which activities are available for complaint records. Our example complaint has three activities, an investigation, a correction, and a notify external party. These are three common processes that may happen with a complaint. If we click the Create Complaint Activity button, however, we can see there are more options available to process complaint records. All of these activities are already built out and require no additional work or customization. Options for complaints include Investigation slash root cause for determining the cause of a complaint, which will almost always be required with any true complaint. Corrections for simple corrections arising from the complaint without the need to create an external kappa. Corrective actions for complex corrective actions arising from the complaint once again without the need to create an external kappa. Verification of effectiveness a powerful step missing from many other electronic complaint systems and legacy forms. VOE allows users to follow up on complaint actions. Notify external party for tracking notifications to regulators and notified bodies, such as reportable events or for recording evidence of notifying suppliers or distributors of updated literature, such as in this example. And finally, perhaps the most important activity for life science customers, reportability assessment where operators can record the results of a reportability assessment. In fact, this activity may even be missing from our example. The remainder of the FreeQMS Complaints module should come as no surprise to current users. Operators can upload files related to the complaint under the Files tab. Custom tasks can be issued for items needed to process the complaint. Complaints are closed and approved through a 21 CFR Part 11 compliant electronic signature process that allows for any number of approvers. And finally, of course, Complaints includes a detailed history module with comprehensive electronic history of record changes. 
All in all, the Complaints module should remain just as intuitive and easy to use as our other modules. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you reach out to us with any questions.